I wanted to share a tip that maybe you guys will find useful. It's something I've been doing as I've been flying with these larger packs that have EC5 connectors. Now, normally when I buy a battery, it'll come with a XT60 and in some cases, like with this tattoo that I've been using on the QAV500, I'm upgrading from an XT60 to an EC5. And I really like these connectors. They support 10 gauge wire. You can run some more amps through there and they're just real easy to connect. You have a lot to uh, hold on to, whereas XT60s, as you guys know, sometimes they're real tough to grab and pull apart. But the thing about these connectors is they're not the easiest to install. So I wanna share a couple of quick tips that hopefully help you out. I've ruined several of these over the past few weeks. And as always, I'm sure you guys have some great tips, so I'd love to hear them. The first thing that I like to do is just drill a little hole in a piece of two by four and put my gold connector in there. It's nice and snug, it's easier to solder, get that cable down in secure. Even put the EC5 connector housing in place so you can just slide your connectors right on in. But in this case, I'm installing the connector on the battery so it's the female end. And in some cases I've seen guys or read about guys that actually pulled this through after they solder their bullet on and they'll pull as hard as they can to snap it into place. But I'm gonna show you something that I've been doing recently. It's been very helpful and doesn't put any stress on that solder joint. So what I've been doing is I'll find a drill bit that I know can just fit right in that connector. I'll just drill it right into the two by four. Then I'll undo it, leave that bit out. And with it exposed, what I'll do is I'll take this other end, slide it right on here. And as you guys probably know, you gotta put a bit of pressure on this. And sometimes just pushing down with your hands doesn't create enough force. And then what I'll do, I'll put the screwdriver right up against the red. Definitely try to keep my distance from the negative terminal. And I'll just give it a nice little tap. And now you can see that connector is nice and recessed, snapped right into place exactly where we want it. We'll give it a quick test, make sure that everything's working. I'll always double check that my positive and negative terminals are properly set up. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I've experimented with many different ways. This way has been very consistent and successful for me. But I definitely want to hear your tips and suggestions. You guys generally have ideas and tips that I haven't even thought of before. So now on to more exciting things. I'll be working on getting this 8,000 milliamp hour battery on the QAV500 and we'll do some flight time tests. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.